Man, it kind of was all working. Um, Romy called a great game, man. He, uh, we had our game plan, and then you know, game plan. You go out there, and it, uh, it's a, uh, um, you know, you set your game plan right. You know what you want to do, but after that first pitch, uh, kind of to each guy, or sometimes even the whole team, they tell you what you're doing. They tell you what they're doing. So, uh, you know, we just adapted and we just kept going. And uh, man, he did a great job of, you know, um, keeping them off balance, kind of controlling their barrels, and. Um, you know that's uh, that's kind of why he does and how you know what, you know why he's here and you know he's 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 great at that he's got eyes for that he's been around the game and he understands it so uh, man it was a lot of fun and uh, he did a, he did a great job and you know played great defense too it was it was a real good all around win. It's been a tough couple of days and I know that you're sensitive to what's going on uh, around the country and having to wait a couple of extra days because of the rain out yesterday to get this start today. I know you're also focused on things, but how tough was it to to focus get things back in? Uh, mind mentally and physically for yourself today and uh, getting a rhythm um gosh you know it really all comes down to is we don't write the script we just respond to it you know you have a choice to respond however you want and uh with that um you know we responded accordingly and we just keep going um and uh and it's uh it was just you know time to play today so we just go get it can you just give us a sense of uh, how the mood in the clubhouse has been the last couple of days and what it was like today to come out and play and then go back victorious after this one, just uh, the mood with the guys? United. You know, if you can sum it up in one word, you know, uh, 28 brothers, you know, standing arm in arm in there. So uh, it's, um, it's, it's, it's special what we have going. It's special that we have the guys that... Um, that just lead by example and lead by their actions. You know, there's 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 a, there's a lot of those guys. A lot of those guys are guys we brought in this year, and there's guys that you know are developing into those guys. And it's uh, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, we're, we we uh, uh, we have a team that truly cares about each other and um, cares about you know the intricacies of each other too. And uh, it's it's special. Fun Saturday in Detroit. Great baseball game in Game 1 and Game 2. Jamer Candelaria was a big part of it, especially with a two-run blast here in Game 2 to give Tarek Skubal his first career win. Talk about the, the feeling for this team right now after two big wins to get to within one game of 500, Jamer. Man, we, we thank you guys. Thank you for having me here. Um, we come with a, with a good um, attitude to the game today. Um, our first first game, we get, we, get, we compete, we compete, we get it, and then we we put it in the side, and then we come to this this game and have some fun. It's all about having fun and and the, with the guys. And uh, I think we got a, a great special um, team. Jamer, it looked like uh, you were sitting on a fastball there, and you had a nice easy swing. You didn't try to muscle it. It was just a nice easy easy level swing. The ball jumped. Talk about your home run today. Man, um, I was not looking for a pitch. I was looking for a pitch um, for strike. Um, I see that fastball there. I put a good swing on it. It was um, I showed up my swing, my bat, and um, I showed up my swing, and yeah. I put the swing and the the barrel in the ball, and that's what happened. Thanks God. What a roll you've been on throughout the entire month of August. Tarek Skubal gets his first win in the major leagues, and Gregory Soto gets his first save. How good do you feel for those two teammates? Man, we feel feel great, man. Um, we young guys um, coming to the big leagues, um, helping us to win ball games. That's all about. Um, we got great talents here. Um, we just got to be able to keep growing and keep growing and know how to win baseball games. It's got to be a challenging couple of days. I know there was a lot of emotion in the clubhouse. I'm sure you felt that. And uh, this team comes out and wins two games against the first place team uh, to start the day in the Twins. It's got to be uh, a lot of fun knowing that tomorrow you can maybe sweep a short series here against Minnesota. Um, yes, we, we came as a, as a team. You know, we have... Um, um, we came as a team. We come uh, um, always all the, all the time as a team, and that's what it, we want. We want to we want to take back each other's and have a great game. That's what we want right there. Um, um, if you're not playing, you haven't cheerleader but for us, for the teammate supporting us, and that's what we got today. It wasn't long ago where you and this team were mired in a nine-game losing streak. You bounce back, you win the series against Cleveland, you win the series against your old team, the Chicago Cubs, and now you've won two of the first three against Minnesota. What's been the biggest difference in winning these last three series, Jamer? Putting the negative negative stuff away. You know, you learn from it and you just 
turn the page. Um, we turn the page. We having fun right now. Um, um, sticking with our our routine. Um, sticking for the game, and I think it's working. I think it's working. We picking back each other's, um, and that's working right now for us. We 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 don't control. We want to control what we can control, mm -hmm. and have fun in the game. That's what we want. Thanks for letting us all smile today. We hope we can yeah. do it again tomorrow. One of thank the good you. guys. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it, guys. We're up for it coming to the ballpark, and I think our confidence level, you know, is starting to get better since we played in Cleveland, won a couple games there. That was that was huge. Actually, you know, getting rid of one streak and, and also winning a series. And we've just been kind of feeling pretty good about ourselves since then. So uh, we're swinging, Gua. I mean, that's probably the biggest thing. We're, we're actually swinging the bats and putting some runs on the board. And, and uh, uh, those are fun things to watch. And the guys are really into it in the dugout. You said all along you weren't you weren't going to spend any time worrying about Miguel. Um, how infectious has his production been right now? How are the other guys kind of feeding off that? Well, he's as I said, you worry about things, not him. He, he he knows how to hit, and he's swinging better. And when he goes through a mini slump, it's it's his mini slump is a huge slump for somebody else. So he's just uh, one, been one of those players. He still is. He's loud in the clubhouse. He's loud in the dugout. I don't know a lot of what he's saying sometimes because he's rambling pretty good, but it keeps guys laughing, and, uh, you know, that goes along with a, you know, a great player that's going to be in the Hall of Fame um, is still holding on pretty good and still can hit. Last thing for me, Ron, um, when Soto, the first two guys get on, and he's not real familiar with that last three-out situation, what's the conversation between you and Rick at that point? Were, were you tempted to go? You had Buck warm. Do you? I can't say that on here. That's this is P, PG. No, I just told him to go talk to him and calm him down and throw the ball over the plate. And so no, you know, he got him to swing ground double play, huge double play that took all the relief off. But you could see that you now he couldn't find the plate, and we know that's gonna there's gonna be part of that. It's gonna happen every once in a while. But he found enough. He made a great pitch to Sano, got a double play ball, which made everybody breathe a little bit better. And uh, he got through it. And it's first major league save for him, first major league win for Scoobal. Those are pretty good things. Sir, thank you. Thanks, Chris. We'll go next to Trevor Thompson from Fox Sports Detroit. Uh, Guardy, a good day for you guys. Uh, your starters go five. Your bullpen is pretty much shut down. Your hitters go off. You win both games. How satisfying a day is it when all of that comes together? Well, it, it's good. It's nice. Uh, I mean, the alternatives aren't that fun. So it, minors will win them. Uh, if you got a plan, we've always said that. But a lot of things happened. Scoobal, that was really cool. Boyd pitched really well, um, and uh, you know got his Scoob's got his first major league win. That's pretty cool. And and he, you know we went through five innings and pretty easy, really nothing too stressful out there for him. And Boyd was really good too. He could have gone on too, uh, but these seven inning games makes you change up kind of what you're doing. And uh, so we changed it up a little bit. But he was throwing the ball great too. So those are two big pluses.